Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to dive deep into something that is becoming increasingly crucial in our interconnected world, keeping your design data secure. So if you're working with sensitive PCB designs or you just want to ensure your intellectual property stays protected, you're gonna wanna pay close attention to everything in this video. Government-grade security isn't just for government agencies anymore. In a world of increasing cybersecurity threats, everyone from medical device manufacturers to educational institutions need robust protection for their electronic designs. Have you ever wondered if your data is truly safe in the cloud? Well, that question keeps many engineers and design teams up at night. And the good news is there is a solution specifically engineered for this concern. And today we are going to explore all TM365 GovCloud. This is a platform that brings government grade security to PCB design workflows. So what is All Team 365 GovCloud? Well, it's an enhanced version of the standard All Team 365 platform with security measures that meet the stringent requirements of US government regulations. It runs on AWS GovCloud, a secure infrastructure designed to meet strict regulations like international traffic and arms regulations or ITAR and export administration regulations or EAR. Ear. Think of it as all Team 365 with security like on steroids. It's designed to protect your most sensitive electronic design data. And one of the key aspects that actually makes all Team 365 GovCloud distinct is that it is managed exclusively by U.S. persons operating on U.S. soil. Now, this is not just a technical detail. It is a critical security feature. It means that only individuals who qualify as U.S. persons under ITAR regulations and are physically located within the United States have access to and control over the infrastructure. So looking at the name GovCloud, you might assume that this platform is exclusively for government agencies or defense contractors, but that is not the case. Government grade security extends far beyond just official government work. So let's look at who can benefit from this level of protection. Well, first up, Obviously, you got government agencies and defense contractors who are working on sensitive projects. Next up, how about healthcare institutions that are developing like medical devices, educational institutions working on cutting edge research, commercial enterprises developing proprietary technologies that they want to protect, and small design teams protecting innovative products from industrial espionage. Government grade security has applications across virtually every industry where protecting IP matters. So all Team 365 GovCloud is physically located in the AWS GovCloud region. This regional isolation provides an additional layer of security and compliance that standard cloud solutions simply can't match. So, all right, we've gotten introduced to this thing. Let's talk a little bit about what makes all Team 365 GovCloud different from standard cloud solutions when it comes to security. Now, the platform implements several layers of protection. First up, you got that infrastructure isolation. AWS GovCloud provides a physically isolated region designed for your sensitive workload. Your data resides on infrastructure that's physically separated from standard AWS regions. Next up, you got access control. Now, only U.S. persons operating on U.S. soil can manage and maintain the environment. This significantly reduces the risk of unauthorized access outside of the U.S. Third, geographic restrictions. Okay, a web application firewall, or WAF, restricts access based on geographic location. This blocks attempts to access your data from outside the United States. Comprehensive encryption. Data is encrypted both in transit and at rest. This is gonna protect it during transfer and storage. I like to think of this as sort of like sending a letter in a locked box where only you and the person you're sending the letter to have the key. Additionally, traffic controls monitor and regulate both inbound and outbound data flows, ensuring compliance with security policies and regulations. This is particularly important for ITAR compliance. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about All Team 365 versus All Team 365 GovCloud. So the difference here between All Team 365 and All Team 365 GovCloud is sort of like 365 is like a regular safe and GovCloud is like a bank vault. They both have protection, but really different levels. And these additional security measures don't compromise functionality at all. All Team 365 GovCloud provides all the collaboration features and design tools that make All Team 365 powerful, but with government grade security. Now, when we do talk about government grade security in cloud environments, it's really critical
critical to understand the shared responsibility model, which defines who's responsible for various aspects of security. In cloud security, responsibility is shared. AWS handles infrastructure, all team manages the platform, and you control your data access. AWS oversees the physical security of the infrastructure, data centers, networks, and hardware. Altium focuses on controlling digital access to the platform, implementing authentication mechanisms and encryption. However, the ownership and control of the data rest with you, the customer. You determine who can access your workspaces, what type of data is stored, and where it is sent. As part of this shared responsibility, customers must also maintain their security of their own systems, including keeping endpoint software updated with the latest versions. You wanna think of this as like your home home security, right? The builder makes sure the walls and foundation are solid. The security company installs the alarm system, but you decide who gets a key and when they can unlock the doors and put in the code to actually get in the house. Let's talk a little bit about migration to this platform, right? The migration process, it follows a structured approach designed to ensure a smooth transition while maintaining security. First up, you got initiation. You're gonna submit an access request. This expresses your interest in migrating to GovCloud. Second up, evaluation. All teams team is gonna review your request and access the compatibility we've got here with the GovCloud platform. Third, deployment planning. A customer success manager outlines the plan and timeline for the migration. And then fourth, you got the migration. On the agreed date, all users are gonna save their work and all team goes ahead and transfers the data to the new GovCloud workspace. Next up, you got onboarding. Users are gonna access that new workspace. They're gonna use a new URL and verify the data integrity. And then finally, we've got the conclusion here. Once you confirm successful migration, you begin using all team 365 GovCloud. It's kind of like just moving to a new house, right? You pack everything up carefully, you have professionals handle all the transport, and then you verify that nothing was lost in the move, boom, you're done. Now, Altium offers two distinct processes for moving to GovCloud depending on your current setup. Migration is tailored for existing Altium 365 users involving a region to region transfer. Since the data is already in the Altium 365 format, this process is pretty straightforward. But we've also got re-hosting now. This is designed for users with on-premise solutions like Concord Pro. Altium takes your data from its current location and moves it into AWS GovCloud. This process can be a little bit more complex involving data transformation and additional verification steps. Now, understanding whether you need migration or re-hosting is really crucial, obviously, for planning your move to government-grade security. And the duration really does vary based primarily on data volume and your current hosting environment. If you're already an Altium 365 customer, the process might be faster than if you need complete re-hosting from an on-premises solution. All right, so we talked about migration. Let's talk a little bit more about compliance because this is a really key issue. You, I think GovCloud addresses ITAR compliance through several security measures. First up, we got a web application firewall. This restricts access to US-based users, preventing unauthorized foreign access to controlled technical data. Then we got that encryption, right? Data benefits from encryption in transit and at rest. We have access to the underlying infrastructure. This is limited again to US persons as defined by ITAR. Inbound and outbound traffic controls ensure data flows adhere to regulatory requirements. So ITAR compliance requires strict controls on who can access your design data, where they're located, and how data is encrypted. And importantly, all Team 365 GovCloud doesn't export ITAR data outside of the United States at all. So if customers need to send out ITAR data, they typically download it first and manage the export themselves, and this ensures regulatory compliance. Now, while all Team 365 GovCloud is well suited for ITAR compliance, many organizations also work with controlled unclassified information or CUI and higher classification data. Government grade security is evolving to meet the needs of customers, evolving with increasingly sensitive design classifications. So to store CUI and higher classifications, cloud solutions are gonna need to be certified by third party assessment organization. All teams currently undergoing a self-assessment based off of some standards. Check out the link in the description for an article which outlines more about that and indeed everything that we are talking about in this video. When this assessment is finalized, all team plans to obtain 3PAO certification, enabling official support for CUI and higher classification data storage. Now, one question that often comes up is whether users can bring their own encryption keys. Currently, this capability is not supported in Altium 365 GovCloud, and that is due to the multi-tenant environment and backend structure. However, Altium 
totally recognizes this need and is exploring solutions, including hybrid or self-hosted environments within GovCloud. Understanding both the strengths and limitations of government-grade security really does help you to make informed decisions about your data protection strategy. So that's what I'm here to tell you about. Another common question is whether users can have an ITAR compliant version of All Team 365 without subscribing to GovCloud. The answer here is no, because ITAR compliance requires specific infrastructure location and personnel restrictions, and without hosting in the appropriate IWS regions and limiting management to US persons, a system cannot be fully ITAR compliant. Okay, so we talked a lot about what government grade security looks like today. Let's look a little bit into the future because this is an area of electronics design, PCB design, where you really do have to have your vision pointed forward. As we look to the future, government grade security is obviously going to continue to evolve. Some trends that we're watching out for are integrated security, right? This is security that's gonna be incorporated at every stage of the design workflow, rather than just like treat it as an add-on at the end. Also keeping an eye on compliance automation, right? Tools that automatically ensure compliance with standards are going to become increasingly valuable. Expanded certification, also important. Cloud platforms are gonna seek additional certifications to handle increasingly sensitive design data. And then collaborative security, maintaining security through distributed design processes across organizations and supply chains, really, really important. We're also gonna need in the future greater user control, right? Future developments, are likely gonna give users more granular control over security settings. So the future generally of government-grade security is really about making protection seamless and integrated through the entire design process. But the TLDR here is that government-grade security is not just for government agencies. It's valuable for any organization that needs to protect sensitive design data. And all TM365 GovCloud provides this security through infrastructure isolation, access controls, encryption, and ITAR compliance. So if you are considering implementing government-grade security for your PCB design workflow, here are some of the next steps that you're gonna need in order to get that process up and running. First up, you need to assess your security requirements based on data sensitivity and regulatory needs. Then you need to evaluate your current security measures to identify any gaps you've got. Then explore all Team 365 GovCloud, and in fact, explore all of all Team's resources because we talk a whole lot about security around here. Next up, you could initiate the process by submitting an access request if government-grade security is right for your organization. Now, there is a significant investment here in figuring out how to transition your organization to these sorts of protocols, but it is an investment that's worth doing because you're protecting your property and ensuring regulatory compliance. And there you have it. That is a comprehensive getting started look at government-grade security for PCB design with Team 365 GovCloud. I hope you found this video useful. I hope it gave you a better understanding of how this platform can help protect your sensitive design data and ensure compliance with regulations like ITAR. If you found this information valuable, please hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. And if you have any questions about All Team 365 GovCloud or government grade security in general, go ahead and drop those down in the comments below. We will jump in and respond to those as we can. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.